Uh, okay, today I want to explain a message authentication code or the MAC. Uh, so, um, before, previously, we studied the block ciphers, stream ciphers, and all of this we are caring about confidentiality, right? And uh, confidentiality protects us from the passive attacker because uh, the passive attacker does not change the message, but he tries to read it. So what we do is, um, is we encrypt the message so that the attacker cannot read it. And in this way, we preserve uh, confidentiality, right? But sometimes we care about integrity. Like we care about integrity um, and not really confidentiality. So integrity means that uh, the message sent from Alice is received to Bob like the same, unchanged, right? So if if Alice sends M and Bob receives M prime, so M should equal to M prime. Here we say integrity is preserved. Okay, so uh, okay, so sometimes, like, if I send uh, to somebody money, and I don't really care if people know or not. Some, yeah, in some cases we won't care, right? So, but I don't want this to change. I don't want the message to change from. Ten dollars to twenty dollars because I only I only want to send ten dollars. So here integrity is very important. Okay. So in this uh, in this uh, slide, we are um, there's a question. Can we consider hash functions? Uh, seek, uh, uh, pro, uh, ensure, can we consider that hang, hash function hash functions provide uh, confidentiality? Well, the answer is no, because yani, there is no verification. I can just send them any message which is hashed. Hashing a message will, will make the attacker not be able to read it. So, all right, but he can still change it. He can still send a different hash because we're not verifying the message. So here there's something missing. Okay, so in this case, um, Alice sends $10 to Bob. Okay. And then we have Mallory, the attacker. And he's an active attacker he will change the message into 10,000 and he will send it to Mallory so he can just do that because we can't like there's no verification in the hash function so this is telling you that uh, uh, integrity loss can be very dangerous and uh, hash functions do not provide integrity So how do we mm, provide integrity? Uh, we need a key. A key will be used to verify that this message is correct, is verified. So it's not from Val Mallory, it's not, it's not changed. It cannot be changed because Mallory doesn't know the key. So he cannot, like if we uh, add a key to the hash function in this way, uh, we can provide uh, security because Mallory, even if he sent, if even if he sends a new hash function uh, to the to the bank, uh, the bank will say, "Well, there's no key, so it will just discard the message." Because obviously Mallory doesn't know the key; the key is secret. So here we know that message authentication code is a keyed scheme and sometimes called keyed hash functions. So we key hash functions. And its counterpart in public key cryptography is digital signature. And, 
okay so this will be discussed later so the mac has two algorithms like the mac uh, is is um, is con consti constitutes of two algorithms the t which generates a tag uh, using the key and the message so the inputs of the tag function is the t a key and the message and v function which which just verifies the key message and the tag so does the tag belong to this message uh, given the key so it will just verify if the tag is valid then it will send a one otherwise a zero so what's the difference between this and the previous hash function is just the key so when we verify the tag uh, given the key, secret key. In this way, we preserve integrity. Okay, for the security of the map, we have to um, define a threat model and a security goal. The threat model is the chosen message attack. So an adversary can clear, okay, so the adversary sends as many messages as he wants to the challenger. And the challenger replies with as uh, with as with as much tags as sent. Like for each message, it will reply for a corresponding tag. So if I send mi, it will give me back ti. These are two pairs. If we have these two pairs, like the adversary will have these two pairs, and then he can send them together. And if they are verified, the a verification uh, algorithm will give us one okay the security goal is to prevent existential forgery so what is forgery forgery is when the adversary can find MITI pairs that he has not sent that has not been sent before uh, so like before we said that the adversary sends a message and gets back a tag so these are all the messages and the tags that have been sent and received right if the adversary can find a different pair that is not inside the previous messages uh, sent or the previous tags received if he can find a new pair here we have a forgery okay and if there's a forgery, the security goal is broken. Okay, so... Um, so this is just a photo, like it's an informal explanation of what has been said before. So the adversary sends many messages and gets back many tags, so we have two pairs. If the adversary can find M prime, T prime, that does not belong to these it's not in these set then b will give us uh, if 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 he sends n prime and t prime and gets back a one like the challenger uh, gets uh, g uh, gives back a one and the message is verified so if the um, v of uh, the v function if it gives us a one so then this forge this forgery is verified then we have an issue we have an insecure system an insecure system so let's read this uh, security equation the advantage of the adversary over the mac equals the probability that the challenger will output one this is the challenger he will give us a one and when does he give us a 1? If the V gives us a 1. And if the V gives us a 1, that means the Mac will give us also a 1. Okay, so the challenger will give out a 1 if this is verified. And this will be verified if the M prime and T prime sent by the adversary is verified by the Mac. So if the Mac verifies this message pair, M and T, then the challenger will output one. So the probability that the challenger will output one 
should be zero. He should not be, he should not, the challenger should not give us a one. If this is a forgery, because M and T here is a forgery. All right. Uh, now we have the security of NARC. Okay, so this is explaining the tagging algorithm. The tagging algorithm will have a key and a uh, message input and will give us a tag using the key and the message. And then the verification will uh, verify the tag using the key and the message. Either will output zero or one. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, the tagging algorithms uh, will accept a 2 power 64 message and output tag of 2 power 10. So if I ask you, is this a secure function or not? You will tell me no, because the, uh, the computers, they can easily find brute force 2 power 10. This is a small number for the computers. They can easily find the... Um, a tag that like they can just uh, they can just uh, a brute force and find the tag uh, that is valid okay so is Mac a secure Mac well no this Mac is not secure because the probability that the uh, that the challenger will find uh, will uh, will will uh, verify a forgery is 1 over 2 power 10 because we have uh, 10 bits and two two cases for each bit so uh, it, it there's a 1 over 2 power 10 chance it will be uh, found which is very very large number so we say that this is non negligible if it's negligible it means it's very very close to zero but this is non negligible it's a big number for the computer they can easily find uh, uh, a, a forgery that is valid. Okay, so we say here that, uh, uh, okay, so even if Mallory doesn't have the key or the tag that can be verified, there's an, a different attack that Mallory can do. He can just copy the text sent like if he just copies the message sent and just replays it and just sends it again and again and again this is called a replay attack and this at this issue how can we solve it we can just simply sequence the the packets sent in higher protocol levels so uh, in the networking layer uh, we can just add a sequential number and this will prevent any uh, like if he just keeps replaying the message it will give us an, uh, a wrong sequence number it means that this is a replay attack so if he sends this message twice Mallory he will have a sequence number one and it will be discarded Okay, and this is the end of the lecture for the message of the authentication.